My name's Curtis Teary. We're in uh, Ashland, Oregon. One of the first victims of the Ashland fires. Before the fire, this place was really beautiful, actually. And uh, raised here most of my life. But yeah, there's nothing but memories here. I can't look at it without just remembering a certain time in the past when I was a kid or whatnot. It's gonna be hard to miss the place. I don't know, there's a lot of anger, but there's nothing you can really do about it. This provides everybody with a perfect example of, of what climate change is, is doing to us and doing to our environment in our lives. The signs of climate change have been pretty obvious over a period of years. Uh, this is, I think, really gonna be just the tip of the iceberg. I still have not grasped the magnitude of what's happened here when we have sections of entire towns that have been destroyed. This fire was absolutely unlike anything I've experienced before, and I think safe to say unlike anything our local agencies have experienced. We were nervous. We knew that there was this unusual wind event, uh, and we knew that the conditions were really ripe for fire. You know, we had extreme low humidities, high temperatures, combined with winds of that nature, but no one was prepared for anything like this. I think nature is neither malicious nor kind. I think it's just responding to the conditions. And I definitely think humans have uh, had a big role in where we are right now. Our world is changing. Uh, summers are getting hotter. We're getting less and less precipitation leading to widespread drought. And we're having really weird weather events. These are obvious changes that uh, you don't really have to look very hard to see.